I think the first thing that we talked about, mm, okay, were these. Yeah. Hard to do this perfect. Okay, what are these things? Like these are equal. Perpendicular. Bisector. Perpendicular bisectors. Okay, and where did the perpendicular bisectors meet? Circumcenter. Because it is the center of a circumscribed circle. And also the distance from the circumcenter to the vertices is the same. Okay. Uh, there's one down. Then right after, you guys remember which one we did after that? Um, What's that? Altitude. Altitude. Um, I think I drew it a little bit too much of a right triangle, but that's okay. Okay, where do the altitudes meet at? Ortho center. I think after that we did this. You guys know what this is called? From the vertex to the middle? Median. Median. And the medians meet where? At uh, the midpoint. <laughs> Median sounds like middle, centroid sounds like center. Anyway. And then this one, what's this called? Angle bisector. And they meet. So those are the same, and these are the same. They meet at the end center because it's the center of an inscribed circle. How many variations do you Yeah, three. Um, oh, they all have center as part of their name, don't they? Centroid, you know, center is kind of in there. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh. Something that's special, special about the end center is that it's the same distance from each side of the triangle. Like if you draw a perpendicular line, those are the same distance. Uh, something special about the centroid is it's two thirds of the way from the vertex to the middle of the opposite side. So if this was like 10, this would be five. All things 15. That's anyways, okay. Um, Okay, so what letters are we working with here? Perpendicular bisector. Should we think of that as a P and a B, maybe? Call it PB. Goes with circumcenter. AO. NC. Angle bisector. NC. Okay. Peanut butter goes with chocolate. That's not a G, that's a C. Oh, peanut butter and chocolate. Actually. Yeah, peanut butter goes with chocolate. Apples go with oranges. Peanut butter, chocolate. Almond. Apples and oranges. Milk and cookies. Milk and cookies. AB. Apple butter. <laughs>
peanut butter, chocolate, apples and oranges. What was this one? Milk and cookies. Milk and cookies. Things that go together. Is what and then Abby. That might not work well in the other class then, because Abby's not in that class. Okay, can you guys remember it? Doesn't, and the order, if you remember it like that, the order doesn't matter. Peanut butter, chocolate. Peanut oranges. butter, chocolate. Apple oranges. Milk and cookies. Things that go together. Uh, what's that? Uh, Abby. Okay, you kind of have to, would have to know how to spell the Abby part. We might think of something better because that, that one's a little bit confusing. But uh, okay, what does this stand for? Yeah. Perpendicular. Perpendicular, line. Perpendicular bisectors. Okay, there is one problem with this. They both start with the C. So you got to have to you're gonna have to remember a little bit. Perpendicular bisector, circumcenter, altitude, orthocenter, medium, centroid, angle bisector, and section, no, in center. All right. Hopefully by the time we get to the test. Test will be the next Wednesday, I think. You guys will have that. What are the odds we're gonna remember that tomorrow? Uh, uh, we'll partially remember it, then we'll, we'll, we'll keep practicing. We'll remember some of it altogether. We probably will remember it, but as individuals, not so much. Okay, so stop. Um, in a triangle, um, okay. Let's see, what does this angle look like right here? I would say it looks about maybe 40. Uh, well, if this one's 70, that one would have to be 70, which they do both look pretty close. Let's say, which one looks bigger? This one looks a little bit bigger. Let's say this is 75 and this is 65. Okay, there's actually a relationship between the angles in a triangle and the sides that they're across from. So imagine this is a like a crocodile mile. What's gonna happen to this side as the crocodile opens his mouth wider? This is gonna get bigger, right? So the larger the angle is in a triangle, the larger the opposite side is. Does that make sense? Yeah. Alligator opens its mouth. The wider he opens it, the bigger this gap is. Okay, so in a triangle, the largest side is gonna be opposite across from the largest angle. So you see this alligator is opening his mouth the widest, 75, and this is the longest side. This alligator is opening his mouth the least, and that's the smallest side. You guys follow? Okay, so they're gonna ask you like put it in order or something. So the smallest side across from the smallest angle is AB. So AB is smaller than what's the medium side? This is the medium angle. So what's the medium side? AC. AC. And when you don't put a, when you don't put a line segment on top, what does it mean? The length of AB. Length. So this represents some number length. The length is smaller than the length of AC, is smaller than the length of BC. Okay, okie doke. Uh, that's pretty much it too. This is kind of an easy lesson-ish. Probably just jinxed us, but whatever. Let's go. Okay, numero uno. Oh, that kind of looks like the one I drew. 
Um, okay, so list the side lengths of each triangle from shortest to longest. So if angle B is the smallest angle, what's the smallest side? AC. So the order does matter on this. I mean, AC and CA, that doesn't matter, but you, you have to go smallest to biggest. Okay. So the medium angle is angle C. So what's the medium side? AB. AB in the bottom, which of course leaves the largest side, uh, CB. You can just write this because we're just talking about the length of the segment, so. Okay. Um, number three. What's the small side? Uh, Bo, what's the small side number three? Shh. That's the smallest angle, so what's the smallest side? No, those are angles. Okay, the angles are in the corners, the sides. Okay, these are, look how big that is. These are the angles. These are the sides. The angles are, are kind of just what's between. It tells you how wide the opening is between two sides. These are the sides. So on this one, this was the smallest angle. So it opens up to the smallest side. This was the smallest side. This was the medium angle. This was the medium side. This is the large angle. This is the large side. So QP. So QP, yes. What do you do? So if there's two that are like equal, would you put equal? Um they just they just wrote and between it. Okay, and what would the medium side be? On number three. Uh, QR. Yeah. QR. Which leaves the large side. Uh, RP. RP. What are they watching? Okay. Kitten on number five, what's the smallest side have to be? We don't need to find X on this, by the way. A, B. Because it's across from uh, 3X, it's gotta be the smallest. Okay, what's the medium side? And then what's the big side? Maybe he's showing a video that has music on it. Mr. Totino's <laughs> classes. So like number four, would you just do the same thing? Because like the Yeah. Just yeah. So just list those two sides next to each other is fine. They just put an and between them, but um, the biggest one just has come last. So okay, you, what? So you don't have to find an X on any of these? Nope. You can just tell which is bigger. Like on 11, Y plus 20 has to be bigger than Y or Y minus 10. You don't you need to, you don't need to find Y. You can't find Y. Okay, which of those angles has to be the biggest? X plus 10. You don't have to find it, it's just whatever X is, X plus 10 is bigger, right? Okay, um, number seven, list the angles from smallest to largest. So, this is the same idea, just backwards. The smallest side on number seven is GH. The 14. 
So what's the smallest angle got to be on 7? H. F. 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 The smallest angle is opposite the small side. 15 is the medium side. So what's the medium angle? And then 27 is the large, you, I don't know if you were here, AJ, but, or maybe you weren't listening, that small angle opens up to the small side. The large angle opens up to the large side. So G is obviously the largest angle, and also it opens up to the large side. So G is last. So number nine. Uh, Manny, what would... <coughs> Number nine, what's the smallest angle going to be? The smallest angle yep. would be uh, angle Z. Right. Because it's across from the three. Then what? Angle X. Angle X. And then that leaves... Angle Y. Okay. Uh, 11, Sophia, what would the smallest angle have to be? Uh, well, Y is not an angle, Y is a side. So what's, let's start with that though. What's the smallest side? The Y minus 10. Y minus 10. So what's the smallest angle gonna be? The P. P, yeah. Okay, so Y would be the medium side, so what's the medium angle? Um, Q. Q, and then that leaves R, yeah. Okay. Let's see, AJ, was Friday's game fun? Yeah. Yeah, I knew that part. Uh, was East in there? No, he was sick. He missed both, both games that you guys won. Yeah. Maybe that's just like how it goes when he's not there to win. You're saying it's East and fault you guys have been losing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's what? It's his pregame speech. <laughs> <laughs> that, that made you guys lose. Yeah. yeah. Has nothing to do with talent level. Okay, 13. Uh, state the longest side of each triangle. Not drawn to scale. So they're telling us we can't trust the... Actually, it looks equilateral, so I don't know that looking at the picture would really help us anyway. Okay, well, what do we need to do? How do I, yeah, how do I find this angle? Just add those two. 180 minus those two. Those two are like 119, so this one would have to be like 61. Okay, but basically it's the same uh, thing. What's the, okay, actually, no, they're not list, we're not listing from smallest to greatest. It says state the lo longest side. So which side, ABC, which side would have to be the biggest? If this is 60, the largest angle, which side's the biggest? AB. Okay, um, hmm, forgot to talk about this stuff. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 14, ADC angle three. Um, that, it always, that window always makes it look darker, but it is dark. It's supposed to reflect, but it's not really 
bad in like what, 15 minutes. Yeah, Miss Miss Palmer said we're about to be at extreme weather. Yeah, we have a tornado watch over. Maybe we should go home on leave. Tornado watch over the school. Tornado watch over the state. Can you buy the other one? Washington? Not hard to watch. I mean, it is. There is. There is. I got people where I'm going back to school. Sweet. Watch is, watch is not the same thing as warning. Yeah. Is it getting bad? We also have a flood watch, too. There's a lot of Well, if there's a flood, we're in the safest room. Yeah, we're up on a hill. Yeah, Kate, it's so bad that I saw the tornado. So be quiet. What is that? He got picked up and sat down. Okay. That's why you were like, that's not like that. It was like my five of the window. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I'm going to have some blue bag. Yeah, he just wrote the tool for you. Okay, so there's a couple little theorems we have. If angle A plus angle B equals angle C, then what do we know about how do angle C and angle A compare? Angle C is less than A. No. A and B together make C. Therefore, C is bigger than A, or C is bigger than B. Yes, okay, they call this, well, it's not a theorem, actually. They call this the comparison property. Okay, did you guys follow that? If angle A and angle B equals angle C, if these two add up to C, then C is bigger than either of them, right? Okay. They call that the comparison property. And the other one, let's see if you guys remember this. This is kind of the bonus off the test. Um, you guys remember how these three angles are related? Right. An exterior e angle in a triangle is equal to the sum of the remote interior angles. So, angle one plus angle two equals angle three. Uh, guys, hush. Uh, therefore, angle three is bigger than angle one or angle two. So it's really the same thing, but uh, it's based off of this property. So they call it the ex whoops, exterior angle. Inequality theorem. So the fact that angle three is bigger than angle one or angle three is bigger than angle two. Or maybe I should say and. So an exterior angle is bigger than either of the remote interior angles. Every time, no matter what, no matter how you draw the triangle, like on this one, angle X would be bigger than Y or Z, even though it's not a very big angle. Bigger than this. Okay. Um, so these are the two options for 14 through whatever 18. Yeah. Okay. On 15. Well, first we gotta say which one is bigger. Is angle four or angle two bigger on 15? Four, yeah, so you have to put a greater than symbol. Remember the mouth wants to eat the bigger one. Angle four is bigger and what theorem states that's, or what theorem of property states that's true? Exterior angle, it's one of these basically this picture. This is bigger than this. Um, exterior angle inequality theorem. It's kind of a mouthful. Are you guys warm or is that just me? Uh, it's all I feel fine. Well, I said that first hour and apparently it was just me, so. But, now it's okay, 17, angle two, okay, you guys see angle two, and angle ABC. 
So ABC is the big angle up top. Which is bigger, angle two or angle ABC? ABC. ABC is bigger. Why is ABC bigger? Okay. Uh, because one plus two equals angle ABC. So therefore, angle ABC is bigger than both. What symbol should we put? Angle two is less than. And what property or theorem did we just use, though? <coughs> Comparison property. Those are not exterior angles or anything. It's just angle ABC is made up of angle one plus angle two. Therefore, it's bigger than either. Okay, 25. This one's a bit of a doozy. But I'm helping, so. And this problem is going to show up somewhere else. I can't remember if it was just the test or the chapter review. But something like this. I probably better go. We're almost done. 60, 63. Q-R-S-T. Okay, the directions are list segments in order from shortest to longest. The problem is these two triangles look, at least the way the book drew them, I, I maybe didn't draw it quite right, but these look identical. And there's like one, two, three, four, five. There's five sides, five segments in this picture. So how do I figure out, is this triangle supposed to be bigger or this triangle? Or are they the same? Okay. In this triangle, what's the smallest side in the left triangle? TR. TR. In this triangle, TR is the what side? Biggest. biggest. So if this is the biggest side over here and the small side over here, which triangle is bigger? The one on the right and the left. The left. Because this is this one's small compared to these two, and this one's big compared to these two. Does that make sense? So this is a bigger triangle. This is the big side over here. But he's the little guy over here, so therefore this is this big triangle. So this is the biggest of these three, and it's the smallest of these three. So we need to start over here. In the small. We're going small to big, so we need to start on the right side, basically. All right. Now, what's the smallest side on the right triangle? Right. There's small angle, so RS is the small side. Okay, what's the medium on the right triangle? Yes. Yes. And we kind of mentioned this, what's the big on the right triangle? TR. TR. Okay, TR also is the smallest on the left triangle, so you don't write it again, it's just TR still. Okay, what's the medium on the left triangle? QR. And then that leaves the largest angle side, QT. Yeah. 